Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my second update for my 30 by 30 project pan. This is a usage-based project pan where I'm trying to get 30 uses out of 30 products from my makeup collection. I kicked it off with 10 products to start off with and every single update of this project, which is every other month, I'm rolling in an additional five products, no matter whether or not I've actually hit my goal on any of the items. So 30 uses on 30 products. This is wrapping up shortly after my 30th birthday, just to keep on with that 30 theme. And it has definitely been quite a challenge. It's really eye-opening that 30 sounds like it's a pretty substantial number, but it doesn't seem like an impossible number to reach. But when it comes to trying to use all of these items 30 times, in addition to other project panning and trying out other products and all of that kind of fun stuff, I truly have been quite challenged by this project pan. And some of these items quite literally have not been used 30 times in their lifetime prior to being in this project. So it's been a challenge. It's been really eye opening. And I do have some decent progress to share with you for this update. And as always, we will be rolling an additional five items into this project at the very end of this update. So I am so excited to share with you everything that's coming new into this project, things that I'm rolling out, spoiler alert, I am rolling some things out of this project, and just to share with you some of my insights and thoughts and the amount of times that I've used all these products. So without further ado, because the rambles are seriously like in full gear right now, I just wanna chat so much. So let's get on into it so that I can save the chattiness for some actual content, okay? Let's get on into it. Let's talk about the items that have been in here since the introduction first. This first one is by ABH. This is the shade Fawn, which came from the contour kit in the light to medium range. I bought that forever ago. I had that in my collection for absolutely eons. And I can't, I can't seem to part with this shade, even though I have since decluttered the entire palette other than this one color. And I didn't really reach for it because contouring really isn't my thing. I don't really feel like it looks good on me when I try to do it because it looks a little muddy, a little heavy, and yet I can't seem to part with this shade. So by my last update, I was actually already halfway to my goal. I had reached for it 15 times and I've now reached for an additional 21 times since my last update, which is amazing. So that brought me up to a total of 36 uses in this project. And now there is like a little bit of a dip starting to happen. I'm not sure if you can see it there. I'm hoping you can. But there's a decent sized little dip starting to appear. And that's not because I've been using it as an actual contour, like a dedicated contouring shade. I've been using it primarily through my brows. Even today, I am wearing it just kind of in the tail of my brow and towards the arch, just to give it a little bit of extra definition. This color is really great for that. It does pull a little warm in my brows, which is weird because this isn't like a really warm it's more of a neutral kind of contour shade but in my brows it pulls a little warm and i actually kind of dig it so more often than not that's how i wore it i also wore it as an eyeshadow and as a contour probably i wore it maybe maybe three times out of all of those 36 uses but you know what better than nothing this is the cover effects high performance setting spray you can't see where i'm at with this product However, I am really disappointed to report that I actually only reached for it five times since my last update, which is just dismal because I update this project every other month. So that brings me to a total of 16 uses in this project. That is not good. Um, so I'm just over halfway to my goal. I am going to try to be so much better about using this. Now that we are getting into more warm weather, I think I should be able to reach for this more often and actually like want to reach for this because I'm not typically looking for something to lock down my makeup. My skin doesn't seem to need that anymore these days, but this might just be nice for those hotter summer days or summer evenings. And I really, really got to just bring this up and prioritize this again. I really, really fell off on this product, which is just so, so sad because I've had that for far, far too long for a setting spray, but this is a good reminder. I'm gonna get myself back on track and hopefully by the next update, I'll actually be able to roll it out. We'll see. This next product is a lipstick. This is a discontinued lipstick. They no longer make lipsticks just in general. This is Madame Glam Liar. This is in the matte formula. It's a gorgeous, like, I like to call it a muted coral in the bullet, but on my face, it looks like a bright, bright coral. I'm wearing it today as a cream blush, as well as as like, 
kind of like a soft lip stain blotted lip kind of situation and I've reached for it an additional 13 times since my last update which I'm so stoked about. I feel like that is actually a really great number of uses and that brought me up to a total of 20 uses in this project which I would have possibly liked to have had it rolled out by now because now I've been working on it for four months but in any case we're not quite there but I can use it another 10 more times in the coming two months, no problem. That is not gonna be an issue because I've actually been really, really loving this. It's just trying to find that balance with other products that I'm using for my collection through project panning and just trying to make sure I'm rotating through things that I already own. So 30 uses can be a little bit of a challenge, a bit of a struggle, but I'm really happy with the progress that I've made on this. This is something that I hadn't really used much at all prior to putting it into this project pan. I didn't even know that it wasn't a lipstick I liked on my lips. I swatched it and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Look how fun it is. And then I put it on my lip, like on my lips, on my face, once I started working on it in this project and I realized ah, I don't even like the way that that looks. So, you know, I had to figure out ways to play around with it. And I really like the way that it looks as more of a soft lip. This is actually the first time I've worn it this way but I love it as a cream blush. I really, really learned. I love it as a cream blush and it satisfies that desire for these bright summery colors in blush formulas because I already have it within my own collections. I have um, like a note on my phone that I track all of my uses for all of my products on. And so I'm looking down to refer to my tallies on there. So I do apologize for that, but um, it's the only way that I can keep these numbers straight. I have a really hard time with numbers so it's the only way the only way is I have to have that visual clue every single time that I talk about my uses on items so uh, yeah anyways so this next product is by Colourpop this is a super shock shadow in the shade telepathy yes I got it out it's always so hard to say those words together but as you saw in my declutter video, if you watch my eye product declutter, this has kind of popped out of the packaging and I'm so bad, I still haven't glued it back into its place. That's not really what we're here for anyways, but um, that has kind of been a deterrent for me to want to reach for it, even though I could just easily glue it with some lash glue. I've just been lazy. There's no other excuse for it. But I reached for it five times throughout this past update not great, not really my ideal number of uses. I did a lot better in my last update. I actually had previously used it, what did I use it, nine times prior. And that was because I wasn't really focusing on my pan those eyeshadows as significantly when I first started this project pan. So that brought me to a total of 14 uses through this project. Of course, there still are six months in this project. So even though I only used it five times over the last two months, that means, leaves me tons and tons of time to be able to finish up the next 15 uses and I don't see that being a problem whatsoever because this is a really beautiful, it's quite unique, but it's like a grungy golden green kind of color which I absolutely adore and I really do enjoy reaching for it. I just don't want to burn myself out with it so I don't want to um, overuse it you know I want to enjoy the usage that I do with all of these products and so I'm happy with that 14 uses total so far it could be better but it definitely could be worse uh, I don't think I had reached for it 14 times throughout 2019 and 2020 combined so that's good this next product is by Milani this is the conceal and perfect shine proof powder in the shade 03 natural light Last update, I was so embarrassed by my progress on this. I was like, okay, so this next product I've only used three times. Well, I had only reached for it three times in my last update, which is, yeah, quite shameful because it had been two months. But ever since my last update, I have been ensuring that I reach for this very, very frequently. I've worn it as a powder foundation. Now that I do have like a little bit more of a summer tan, I'm able to wear this as a full-on powder foundation. This shade actually works really well for me, but primarily I've actually been using it to just kind of set down my eyeshadow primer or to kind of blot in the middle of the day before I have to, like if I have to hop on any calls in the middle of the day, I kind of just blot the center of my face with this. And I actually ended up reaching for it 28 times since my last update. So I went from three uses in two months to 28 uses in the next two months, bringing me to a total of 31 uses through this project, which is great. I reached my goal with it. I'm super, super pumped on that. 
However, I thought I probably would have been able to use up more, like this <laughs> is still quite a bit of product. I did expand the pan, which is great, but it's gonna take me a lot more time and dedication to this product to actually get it used up in its entirely, entirety, not entirely. <laughs> and now that we're in the summertime and I need you know, something that's a little bit better for minimizing my shine and the shade works just so much better for my like complexion at this time of year, I don't see that being an issue and I might end up actually wanting to roll this into my graveyard project pan eventually, once I hit a goal on something. Ah, that's probably what I'll do. Keep your eyes out for this having a resurrection in that project pan. And next up, we have a lipstick by Essence. This is the Sheer and Shine lipstick in the shade 03 BFF. This is a bright pink, um, but sheer and balmy lipstick. It's actually quite bright. And I don't think that I had realized that when I put this into like the spreadsheet for this project pan. But in any case, I was actually really happy to have been reaching for this over this past two months because this is a beautiful color to wear when I'm not really wearing anything else on my face. Like if I just do a little bit of mascara and brow, I can put this on my lips and it looks like I really put in the effort. It just brightens up my face. It makes my face look, you know, alive. I look, I feel like it looks really, really good. And I've reached for it 10 times since my last update, which honestly, I'm surprised it was only that many uses when I was like going through my tallies and counting things up. I was like, I definitely have used that more often than that but I just must not have been taking it down markings because I've actually been leaving it by my desk. And then again, when I have to like hop onto a Zoom call, like kind of just a spur of the moment kind of thing to talk with one of my coworkers, I'll pop this on my lips just to bring a little bit of color, a little bit of life to my face and, and kind of feel a little bit more pulled together. So I imagine I've actually reached for it more than those 10 times over the past month, but Regardless, I have tracked a total of 16 uses through this project, so I'm halfway to reaching that goal, and I like it. I've actually really, really enjoyed it because it feels very balmy, very comfortable on the lips, but it still has a lot of impact, and I feel very confident in this color, surprisingly, because I'm not super into pinks, but I think just given this texture, it's actually really, really flattering and it makes me super happy. So this next product has, again, been in the project since the introduction. This is my um, Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. And last update, I decided to actually put a piece of washi tape on here so that I can actually track how much I'm using of it, even though my goal with this project is more so like a number of uses versus like a measurable amount of progress. But in any case, I've actually reached for this 20 times since my last update, which brought me to a total of 32 uses in this project. So I am rolling this out of this project pan. However, honestly, I'm probably gonna keep reaching for it because I've been really enjoying it. It's a mattifying primer, but it doesn't feel dry or thick or cakey or tight on the skin. It actually leaves my skin feeling very, very balanced. I really like using this even on days when I'm not wearing any other makeup, just to kind of keep my skin at bay so that it doesn't get too shiny, too slick. I've been really, really liking it and I didn't really have an impression on it prior to putting it into this project pan. So through those 30 uses, I've actually come to quite enjoy and really, really be very happy to have this as a part of my routine. And speaking of the um, trackable usage, this was on its side all night and then it also has been on its side while filming this video. So it just reminded me I should probably put the other products standing upright so I can get a better tracking on them. So my marking is not great. <laughs> it's just gone down maybe a couple of centimeters here. I honestly don't know if that is even accurate whatsoever, but I tried to shine my ring light through it and it looks like it's basically at the same spot where it was prior because I don't go on and just like add this to my entire face. What I do is I'll just put like a pea size amount on my ring finger, kind of work it between my fingers and then I just press it right here. Whatever's left, I just press right here and then a tiny bit in the center of my nose is, oh no, this is not my nose, the center of my chin as well. And I kind of just bring it throughout the center of my face, very, very targeted and with a very, very small amount of product. And so, yeah, I, I believe it, but that was how much I've used in 20 uses. 
So last update, I rolled in five products as I will be doing today, no matter how many products I've actually hit my goal on. And one of those was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. This is in the shade Spotlight. This is a liquid highlighter. And I didn't really have any sort of opinion on this product. I had hardly used it prior to rolling it into this project pan. I knew I did not like this nasty spongy doe foot situation. I do not like it even still after having used it throughout this project pan. And you know what's crazy? Even though I don't like the applicator and I wasn't really familiar with the product, I've actually used it 32 times since my last update, which is amazing. So I wore it on days when I wasn't wearing any other like complexion products. I would just target it on the very top of my cheekbones to give you know, the light a little bit of bounce and just emphasize my face structure, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but I've really enjoyed this. I've mixed it in with foundations. Today, I actually am wearing it mixed alongside this Madame Glam um, lipstick. And I mix them both on the back of my hand to give me this really beautiful glowy blush. I really like the way that it came together. I remember watching a couple of weeks ago, perhaps, um, Chic Geek, she posted one of her low buy updates and she was doing like a get ready with me through it and she was wearing this and she applied it kind of targeted more so right here and on top of her blush to really just give like a very glowy, very like round cheek look. I started doing that after I watched that video and oh my gosh, I freaking love it. I have really come to fall in love with this product. I hate the applicator. I feel like it is a little bit of a sham how little product they actually end up giving you in this large tube, but I love the way that it looks on my skin. It has a very icy kind of champagne color, but once you blend it out, it just is so natural on my personal skin tone. Even now that I have a little bit more of a tan, I just feel like it is really, really beautiful. And I've been able to use a fair amount of product out of here. When I first marked it in this project, I had marked it up here, as you can see. And then now I have it marked down here. I don't know if it's actually even visible on this washi tape, but that's all I had. Maybe about a half an inch sort of progress, like two, two and a half sort of centimeters. And yeah really have fallen in love with it. It's something that I'm considering rolling into my partners in cream potentially this year, or maybe waiting on putting it into that project in the future. But I'm just as shocked as you are because it's a Charlotte Tilbury product. And we know I kind of shit on Charlotte Tilbury all the time because I don't think that their shade ranges are good. And I just feel like they're very exclusive. But because this is a part of my collection, I did want to actually get some use out of it and I'm really enjoying the process of reaching for it. So that is a bonus for sure. It's not a saving grace for the brand, but it's a saving grace for the products that I do already own by the brand. This is the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. This is the strobing version. So it has a little bit of a glow to it. It's apparently supposed to be like pore minimizing. I don't find that with this product. However, it's not or emphasizing, if that makes sense. <laughs> I've been mixing this in with a lot of my base products. I've been wearing it as an actual dedicated primer and I've worn it on my body. So there have been a few days already this year that I've been able to actually wear shorts. And so I will go on ham with this and throw it all over my legs just to give them a glow. It gives them like a moisturized look and I know it's so extra of me, but I've really liked using it in that way. And I reached for it 24 times throughout this project so far. So I really only have to reach for this another six more times throughout the rest of this project. And I can bust that out by my next update most definitely because I've been loving using it in so many different ways. In fact, this is probably something I could get pretty close to using up by the end of the summer because I was able to use up like a lot of product over the last couple months. I hope you can tell the difference there. So it was up here and now it is down to here, which is wild. But as I said, I was using it on my body, on my face and mixed in with other products as well. So it's been very versatile, very multi-purposed by me and it's been very loved by me as well. So six more uses, we'll be rolling this out next update, most definitely. And I'm really, really enjoying reaching for it. Another Charlotte Tilbury product that made its way into this project. This is the uh, Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Ecstasy, which is more of like a neutral-esque pinky shade. 
and I'm struggling to get it open, so that's why I'm only describing it to you. Okay, there we go, finally got it open. And I rolled this in in my last update and I've reached for it 15 times since then. I really don't feel like I love this blush, but I also don't hate it. So I've just been kind of reaching for it whenever it kind of comes to mind that, oh, I haven't reached for that in a while. So 15 uses is pretty substantial in my opinion. I'm really happy that I've reached for it half halfway to my goal. But I don't, I don't even know that I'll be able to actually roll it out by the next update. I could, possibly, but I don't feel any sense of urgency with this product because I can wear it all the time and with anything. And I am trying to actually finish up a blush in my Graveyard Project Pan that I really want to prioritize. Next up, I have a foundation. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade 2.1. And when I rolled this into this project, I was a little bit weary because it was too deep for me at that time. But today I'm wearing it actually mixed alongside this Milani primer. And I feel like this color is great for me. In fact, it might be even a little light in comparison to like my shoulders, but it is a really good match for my face and neck. And I have only reached for it seven times because I wasn't really able to use it prior to this. So I had mixed it with concealers before um, and I had, you know, mixed it with other lighter coverage products from my collection to kind of sheer it out a little bit. But now is really when I can wear this and not have to like super customize it, I guess. And not that I'm opposed to customizing or mixing products at all. It's actually like one of my favorite things to do is to like make new products from the products that I already own. But with this, I really like this texture on its own or mixed with a primer. I actually don't like the way that this looks and sits on my skin when I mix it with a concealer because it amps up the coverage. And this just sits like such a smooth veil on the skin when it's worn on its own that I just don't wanna disrupt that, that consistency and that look. So I will be reaching for this in the coming months for sure. So now is when I'm gonna be able to make the progress. Did I even tell you I wore it seven times? I think I did. I think I made note of that. So I still have 23 more uses in order to hit my goal. And lastly, we have a bronzer. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in the shade Golden Days. This is a very warm red kind of color bronzer and I've been really enjoying using it, especially when I wear it with a, or like apply it with a stippling brush or like a duo fiber brush, something that's not so dense. I feel like it gives me a really beautiful flush on the skin and a little hint of color. I am wearing it today more so towards like the back of my cheeks, just so that I could really let this coral have its moment. I didn't want to like muddy it with this color, but I've reached for it 21 times since my last update, which is when I introduced it into this project. I'm really happy with that amount of usage. That's amazing actually. And the packaging is starting to fall apart after 21 uses through this project. So that's not a really great indicator, but I'll be able to use it an additional nine times most certainly. That is all of the products that are currently in this project pan. We will be rolling another five products into this project. So I do have a spreadsheet, which I'll link down in the description box of this video if you're cur curious to see. I initially picked 30 products from my collection that were things that I had neglected, things I wanted to make more progress on, things I wanted to get to know. And I ended up having to take a couple products out of that actually since my last update because I did end up deciding to declutter a handful of items in my lip and eye product declutters. And also I ended up putting the Juvia's Place The Masquerade Mini into my Graveyard Project Pan, but it was actually in the spreadsheet for this project. So whatever, I ended up putting a couple other products from my collection into the spreadsheet to kind of fill it up. So I still have 15 outstanding products that I could roll into this project. So we're gonna pull another five that I'm gonna try to work on for the coming months. I'm just gonna do a quick screen recording and then share with you all of my selections. So yeah, I will be right back with all five products that I roll into this project. So I'm back with all five of my new roll-ins. I'm actually really happy with this selection. I feel like they're gonna really work well for me at this time of year, which I'm excited about. So the first item I think I had as a misprint in my wheel, just so you know, because I ended up changing it in my spreadsheet the other day, but I think I forgot to update it in the Tiny Decisions app. So the name of the product is not quite right, but in any case, it's from my Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights highlighter palette. 
And I have two shades from this palette, each in their own spot in the spreadsheet if you do take a look at it, because this is a palette that I've had for forever and I really wanna get good use out of it. And I decided that instead of having it as an all over usage goal for this whole palette, I wanted to really target the two pans in here that don't have pan in them yet. And I think in my spreadsheet, I accidentally had sunlight and starlight and the one that I ended up rolling in, I believe, now I could be totally, <laughs> completely confused by this point. I believe it said sunlight, but I think that it is actually called nightlight, this bronzy shade. These don't really have a clear indication to me whatsoever which order they belong in. So I'm gonna work on this bronzy color and yes, it is too deep for my skin tone for sure to wear as a all over or like a dedicated highlighter. But I think, I think it will be a beautiful bronzer topper. You can see right there, I think if I was to sheer it out with a duo fiber brush, it would make a absolutely beautiful glowy kind of topper to wear over top of my blushes and bronzers. I could also wear this as, a, as an eyeshadow and just get some good use out of it because it has been so neglected. Like look how little usage is on that. And I've had this for at least five years, I think at this point, maybe just over five years. So really gotta amp up the usage on this. This is just so tragic to see how little I've reached for this. So 30 uses on this shade will give it a little bit more love and hopefully allow me to figure out some fun ways to reach for it and get some good use out of it. And I think this next product is gonna be a really good one to pair alongside it. It is my ABH powder bronzer in the shade Tawny. I think this is the lightest shade in the range, if not the second lightest shade in it. And it's quite a deep, warm, rich bronzer color, but I think that this will look really beautiful paired alongside that Makeup Geek highlighter. So this is, like I said, quite tan, quite rich, and it puts down a lot of pigmentation. There is a swatch of it right there, but we are getting into those warmer months where I have my legs out more and I'm getting more color. I do wear my sunscreen every day, but I still tend to tan. So I am going to actually be able to use this maybe on my legs as they are definitely far more pale than my shoulders and my face are right now. And I can wear it as the eyeshadow. I can wear it in so many different ways, but I'm gonna use it 30 times. And then at that point, I'll be able to let you know what I really think about this one. Next up, I rolled in a lip gloss and this is gonna be no problem to reach for. This is the e.l.f lip plumping gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. As you can see, I've used up more than half of this product already. I've had this in my collection, I'd say almost two years now, and I've never had it in a project pan, but when I first brought it into my collection, I fell head over heels in love with this. I wanted to wear it all the freaking time. I was wearing it like habitually. And then I ended up sticking it into my drawer and not using it basically throughout all of 2020. I think I'll be able to actually use up a good portion of this through my 30 uses. And this is one of those kinds of products. This is the same thing that I did with the previous lip gloss in this project. I tend to not mark them down when I reapply products. So I'll actually probably reach for this far more than 30 times because this is something that I can wear a couple times throughout the day when I'm just sitting at my desk or you know, just hanging out or about to go out for a walk, I'll just throw on a lip gloss. 30 uses is not gonna be a problem. I actually probably can roll this out by my next update with ease, I imagine. And I might actually be pretty much done with it by that point. And then the next product is one that is one of my newest products still in my collection, even though I bought it last October, I believe, or November, I, I can't really recall anymore. It's my beloved Natasha Denona Metropolis palette though, and I am so, so hyped on reaching for this palette. These are just my colors. These are the colors I wanna live in. I, I adore this color story so much, and there is so much versatility within this palette that I don't see it being a problem to reach into it for 30 times. I just don't want to make this my absolute number one priority over other eyeshadows. So I need to find a good balance between all the eyeshadows that I'm working on. When I reach for it, I'm not going to consider each shadow that I used as a usage. Um, what I'm gonna say is like, if I've worn it on my face, like reached into this palette and worn a multitude of shades from it, that is one use. That's how I'm gonna deal with it. That's what I did with the e.l.f. Illuminating palette that I already rolled out last update. Um, it's just instances when it comes to this kind of goal. 
And the final and fifth product that's rolling into this project is this liquid eyeshadow. So more eyeshadows to focus on. And 30 uses on a liquid eyeshadow is difficult. But I have six months left in this project. This is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in the shade Celestial. This is like a cool toned, slightly taupey, rosy kind of color. And it doesn't seem to have quite as much impact as it used to. However, it's not drying up by any means. It's a really beautiful color, actually. I can guarantee you I've not used it 30 times in its lifetime that it's been a part of my collection. And I've had it for, I think, almost three years now. So this is going to be difficult for me. But as I said, I have six months remaining of this project, so I don't see it being an impossible feat, but I do need to try to remember to reach for this and figure out ways to use this alongside other focused eyeshadows in my collection. And as the months go by, hopefully I roll some more eyeshadows into my pan, those eyeshadows that really will be able to pair with this really easily and frequently. But yeah, those are all five new roll-ins to this project pan. So with those five new additions to this project pan, I'm currently working on 13 items with the goal of hitting 30 uses on each of them, some of which I'm super close to my goal on already. So I imagine I'll be able to roll out maybe another two or three products in my next update. I'm really happy I was able to roll four items out in this update. So I've already hit 30 uses on seven products that have rolled out of this project pan, which is amazing. There are still 10 products that are yet to be rolled into this project. Who knows what order I'll roll them in. It may actually come down to the wire of trying to hit my goal on some really challenging products by the end of this project. But in any case, my next update on this project will be on the 30th of July. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll be able to roll out at least two or three more products by that time. But that is everything for today's video. I'm really excited to be doing this project. I just feel like it's been a lot of fun. It's been quite a challenge and it's made me really realize how little progress 30 uses is on a product. Like it seems like a lot of use, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really make a huge dent in some of these products and it can be really hard to make sure that I reach for them that much. So it's been really insightful, really eye-opening for me, and it's been an absolute blast to be honest. So that is everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.